Introducing the Negotiation Canvas 2.0. We created the Negotiation Canvas a few years ago to give you one simple yet powerful method for improving your negotiation skills and making better deals. Since then, we've used the Canvas to negotiate for some of the largest corporations, universities, and governments around the world. All of this experience has gone into making the Negotiation Canvas even more powerful and easy to use than it was before. Let us show you around the new Negotiation Canvas. First, the Canvas needs to be as intuitive as possible. We want you to make better deals and enjoy using the Canvas so much you want to share it with all your team members, family, and friends. To make the Canvas more intuitive, we added color. The colors separate each side of the negotiation. The left side is orange, and that side represents you, your initial position, your key interests, your walkaway alternatives, and your bargaining chips. The right side is green, and that side represents your counterpart, your counterpart's initial position, key interests, walkaway alternatives, and bargaining chips. Then we move to the center, which is purple. Steps 9 through 11 is where everything comes together to help you make a successful deal. Those of you who are experts in the original negotiation canvas will notice that we've changed a few names in the beginning. Steps 1 and 2 are now my position and their position. Over the years, we found that it is a natural tendency to start with positions, so that is where our canvas begins. However, remember that your position is only your initial stance. Staying with your position can make negotiation tough, and worse, you might leave value on the table and not even know it. We've added a graphic to the top to remind you that positions are a tug-of-war game, and you need to get beyond them to find a successful agreement that works for both parties. That is why it is important to write down your initial position, but then work through each step of the canvas, including each party's key interests, walk-away alternatives, and bargaining chips. Once you do this, you will understand your own true interests, identify more value for both parties, and be ready to set a detailed, ambitious target, which happens in step 9, my desired outcome. We moved my desired outcome down to step 9 for one simple reason. We want it to be close to the possible solutions and agreement fields. In step 9, you will create an ambitious, well-designed target and anchor yourself to it. Anchoring the negotiation to your target is a powerful tactic to ensure that you get more of what you want. Setting my desired outcome above possible solutions helps you keep your target in mind when creating each one of your three solutions. Anchoring to your target is one small change that makes a huge difference. We hope you've enjoyed our video and now understand how these updates make the negotiation canvas even more powerful and easy to use. So why not download the new Negotiation Canvas 2.0 and start making better deals today?